In this video, we want to see how we can build a beautiful website with the website builder of Wix. And we will be using the artificial design intelligence tool. Wix has developed this ADI to make it way more simple for you to create a website. Before we start, you find the link to Wix down in the video description. This is a partner link. And when you click on it and then sign up to Wix, it will let Wix know that you come from this video and they will pay me a small commission. And this helps me to make more of these videos and to grow my channel. So I'm very grateful if you use my link before signing up. And now without further ado, let's start and see how we can build quickly our own website with Wix ADI. Yes, when you have clicked on the link in the description, you will land on this page or a similar page where you can simply enter your email and click on start now. After that, you can sign up with Google or Facebook or with your email. And then once you've signed up, you will land on this screen here and then they will ask you what kind of website do you want to create. For now, I will go with like a personal website. You can also do business websites, uh, photographer websites, company websites. Since they are the biggest website builder, they can do everything for you. They also have the functionality of an online store and you can also create your own blog with this. But for now, let's go with a personal website. Click on next. Yes, and then the next step, they will ask you what kind of uh, elements you wanna add to your website. For example, a blog, a chatbot who is answering requests from your visitors. You can also add the online store. You can add forms. You can add pricing plans, booking pages, and so on. And here you can simply go through and see what you want to add to your website. No worries. You can also add this later when you want. So you can first build the website. And then if you feel like it, you can also add an online shop to your website later on your journey. So I will click next. I will just go with the block and the chatbot. And now here, this is the dilemma they create. Uh, this is the Wix ADI system, so artificial design intelligence. And this is the classic editor. No worries, you can later on switch from ADI always to the editor. Here the editor is a little bit more advanced in the features, but it also makes it a lot more complicated. So your learning phase would be longer. So I would always recommend starting with Wix ADI because you can't switch back from the editor to ADI, but you can switch from Wix ADI to the editor. That's kind of unique. So let's start with Wix ADI. And now the system takes you through a quick survey. They will use your answers to create your own website. So I go with Julian. This is my site name. Then I click next. Then I can enter like an existing website where they will upload the content from the website and the copy. And I can also search on Google Places, for example, if you're a restaurant, then they will also upload like business information or opening hours and stuff like that. For now, I skip this. Then you have your personal information, your name, you can upload a logo, or your address and your phone number. I will click on next for this tutorial. And now it will take you to another page where you can yeah, choose the design theme uh, of your page. Don't worry, you can, I will show you directly once we are on our page, how you can switch for these design themes. For now, I will go with minimal here. You can choose retro, vivid, Soho, but as said later on, you will better see what the effect is of different design themes. Here on this part, they will ask you to pick your favorite homepage design. They usually show you like a white template, a more dark theme and some kind of mixture with more colors. I like this design, so I will go with it. And as said, don't worry, you can also change this later. And now the system will ask you what kind of sites you want to add to your page. For example, in the about page, about me page, a contact page. I will start with these two because I will edit the site later and add more pages as I go. And now the system will create your own personal website. So within seconds, you see they created the website and uploaded like dummy content to it. Here, like a picture, some text, like about me text, a contact me area, a map, and of course the blog posts area, because I have selected this at the beginning. So this is the homepage. And now let's dive in and see what we can do with this editor. Let's start on the top left corner. Here you will see all the pages. So I asked to add an about page and a contact page and of course the home page. On the right here you have the settings so you can click on it. For example, on the about page, 
Then I can rename the page, I can duplicate the page or delete the page. These are like the very basics, but you also have SEO basics here. So you can click on it and then you can enter like the meta information of this page. So when Google wants to find your page, then you, here is where you enter your keywords, for example. So you can have the title of the page. This is the first line you see on Google. Then the description, this is the like the paragraph you normally see below your pages here. And then here you can do this for your about page and you can add keywords here separated by commas, which will help Google even more to find your page. And here you have your page URL, so your website domain name. No worries, I will show you how to buy this in a minute. And then uh, slash and then the rest of the URL. Um, here, quick tip, don't change that uh, too often. Like once you set it to about, don't change it to, for example, about me, because then um, the link will break wherever you already posted the link. This is kind of important. So yeah, let's go back to the home page. Here are all the pages. And here, of course, you can add a page when you click on it, then you can add a page and it will give you some templates for it. So you can create, for example, a new contact page. Then they give you a different designs for a contact page. You can add like a portfolio page. So, and then you can see a quick preview on what kind of yeah, templates you have to show your work. For example, this one. And once I click on it, then it will directly add this to my page. It says, congrats, you have, you have added your first new page. And it will also show this in this menu bar here. And if I want to change the order of these pages, then I can go in here and edit menu. And then I say, for example, the my work page should go behind the home page. And then it will automatically change this here as you see. And of course, here you can also go in and rename it. You can also hide the item or say this is, for example, my home page. But yeah, that's kind of too detailed for this tutorial. You will find this out yourself very quickly. For now, let's keep in mind, this is where you can add your pages and where you can edit the order of your pages on your site. And before we start adding new elements to our site, I want to show you how you can change the design. As you recall, we made some different design choices. Let's go first here on the theme. We choose minimal and if we want to change this, for example, to retro now, then we can click on retro and it will change the font and the colors of your page. Or if we go on clean, it will also change the background colors here to green and the font a little bit. And you can always go in and say, I want to change the colors of your template, of your design template. For example, if you have like a brand color or something, then you can go in and just change it to your brand color. For example, this red here. And here's the powerful part about the Wix ADI creator, because when you change the color here, it will automatically change this to all your sites and you don't have to do this manually step by step. Yeah, I don't like this red too much. I like the green better. When I want to undo this, I click here and then it undoes it for me and goes back to my green. Just play around a little bit with this here under themes, colors, and you can of course change the fonts and you can add some cool animations for that. So how the site, uh, for example, here, the text then fades in or it floats in from the, from the bottom. Just play around with it. It's not too complicated and kind of fun to see different design choices here. So let's go back. Now we already know how, how we can add new sites to our website, how we can change the order of the menu and how we can edit the whole design here. And in the next part, I want to show you how you can add more elements to this. But before doing so, I need to show you how a website here is built. So you always have these containers, they call them stripes. So you have one stripe, another stripe and another stripe and they sit on top of each other. So I usually call them content blocks because there's some content in it. There's a picture, a text and some colorful elements here. And when you click on this, you can then edit it and you can then add, for example, the first section. So when you say, when you have a different name or you want to just say, hello, I'm Julian. Then you can go in and edit the text in here. You can also add like a subtitle here or even a paragraph. Then we'll add like some paragraph to here and you can edit the content over here. And you can also, of course, change the image when you click here. Then you can upload your own media or what is also pretty cool. Wix has its own stock photos so you can go in and search for something 
or they also integrated with Unsplash, which is kind of the biggest stock photo platform where you can yeah, just choose stock photos from and then simply click on them, click on apply, and then Wix will automatically upload the picture to your new site. And the cool part is it, they will also make it small, a small JPEG, so you don't have a lot of loading time for your website and it's very well optimized for Google. Yeah, this is kind of how you edit the content of like one of these stripes, but you can also change the design. When you click on design, then Wix gives you some different design choices. For example, this one here, or I like this one also. And as you see, then it will places the picture on the left and puts the text on the right. And of course you have way more design choices here. Yeah, just play around with it. It's fairly simple and very straightforward. And I really like the way how they communicate it here in the user interface because it's very easy for me to edit my design here. I'll go back to this one. Yeah, this is the first stripe. So you would go in and then change the second stripe, upload a picture of yourself, put a title here, put something about yourself here, and maybe add even a button linking to your Instagram or to your YouTube channel or something because buttons are also fairly easy. Just click on link and then you can either link to a page of your existing homepage here. Uh, you can also add a web address. So for example, if you want someone to go to your Instagram or YouTube channel, you can simply add the link here. Or you can, for example, put a phone number here. So when someone clicks the button on the mobile phone, it directly calls your business or your yeah yourself. These are buttons and now you pretty much know how to edit the whole content and how to change the design of these stripes. Yeah, you see these things here are already in there, but what if you want to add something? You probably have guessed it. Here you have the plus sign. So you click on the plus sign and then Wix shows you an overview of all different stripes you can put in there. Yeah, for example, an Instagram feed, you can add an image, a video, a testimonial, a portfolio or a video player. As you see, the list goes on and on. You have quite a bit of different things you can put in here. I will go with the video. Since I'm a YouTuber, I will simply click here on the video. Then it will show you different designs you can add with a video title, the video on the right, with some paragraph here, but I will go with the simple video and click add, and then it will automatically add the section to my site. And the cool part is, as you see, it is also on brand. So here the green and everything is kind of similar. So you don't have to worry about colors. Then I click on the stripe here. And now if I want, I can add uh, like a like a headline and a subtitle, as you know, I just entered this is me and then it will display this over here. And when I click on the video and I can of course change the video, here's the video URL, but you can also put in a YouTube video here and also have it on autoplay. And now the new stripe sits here with my video. And when I don't wanna have it directly after this top element here, so I wanna have this a little bit further down the side, I can click here and move it down a little bit and then you see the whole stripe is moving down and the others are moving up. If this is too small for you, then you can also zoom out and then you can see your site in a more broader view. And here you can also manage the stripes. For example, I just deleted this one here and then I can move them around. Here's my video part. I want to have the video at the very bottom. So I go in and click on the arrow down and then it's moving the stripe down for me. This is my site now. I can rearrange the elements as I want. If I go back, I click on the plus sign. And now you know how to add stripes, how you change the content, how, you, how to add new pages. And since we're doing a website and this should be also on mobile, you can click here and then you can see your whole site also on mobile. And Wix, of course, does that automatically for you. So you don't have to edit the design extra for mobile phones, which is pretty cool and saves you a lot of time. Here's the preview on how it will look on mobile. So it's well optimized already. And as you see, you don't really have to worry about it. You can edit the design a little bit or hide certain elements, but this goes without further explanation. It's pretty straightforward. So we can go to the desktop again. And now we come to the very last part of the video. You can also add different apps to your site. 
Apps are usually like on your mobile phone, you can add different functionalities. So we already added the block, but we can also see all apps here. And for example, if we want to have like an online shop here, we can simply add the online shop. Or if you are like a personal consultant, you can also add like a booking table so your customers can visit your website and then book private appointments with you or group sessions. And the cool part is you don't have to do a lot or you don't have to go to like a third party provider. You click simply on add and then the system will automatically put all the pages and all the integrations you need for this service in there within seconds. So this is the power of Wix and I really enjoy building websites with Wix because of that. And as said, if you want to try it out now, feel free. The link is down in the description and see for yourself. It's pretty, pretty f powerful because now without having like a third party, it's already integrated. We have a booking page. We have a service page here loading up where you can then describe the service, a booking form where can, people can then choose and pick a date and type in their informations here. This is the booking calendar to it so they can choose appointments and you can of course have different appointment dates. So simply click on manage and then Wix will open up the backend where you can go in and manage your services. So you don't do this on the site. This is more the backend of the site where you can add new services, where you can rearrange them, where you can delete them. And when you click on add new service, it will simply take you through one-on-ones or group sessions and so on. And then you can give it a name, upload like an image, give it a price. And you can also say when you are available and how people can contact you and so on and so on. It's kind of too much for this tutorial, but it's pretty easy and straightforward. This is how you can add different services then to your site. And Wix will then simply add the whole package of the pages to your site. And you can go in each one and edit uh, yeah, and manage it and maybe and even change some design elements about it. Yeah, this is pretty much how you build a website with Wix ADI. You can now go ahead and publish it. Don't worry, it's not directly found by people because Google needs a little bit of time to find your site. And before doing so, you probably want to have your own domain. Then you can click here on upgrade and Wix then takes you through the journey of upgrading your site. You first choose a package. You have like uh, e-commerce plans where you can accept payments for the bookings or for the online shop. If you don't need that, you can go back to the website plans and you see the most basic plan you already get for five euros here. So it's fairly cheap to get started. Yeah, this is how you upgrade and how you get your own domain. And when you want to publish it, simply click here. Yeah, and this is ADI. And if you later on are more advanced and you want to change like some details about it, you can also go from the ADI system to the editor here, simply on site, then go to the editor and then you will land in the editor. One last thing, you can also go to the dashboard here, but this is the backend of, of your site. And here you can, for example, answer messages. Here you get the news. And here you can, for example, have different settings, manage different channels and so on. So this is all pretty straightforward and just go in, click around and you will find your way through. Yeah, I hope you liked the quick tutorial. As said, link down in the description. Feel free to start right now. Thanks for listening. Feel free to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have a question and see you in the next video. Goodbye.